Well, all right, all right, all right. This is Big K Boy <clears throat> playing 7 Days to Die of uh, 17.1. Today we are going to be looking at my new gyrocopter base that okay. <laughs> I just finished. Let me go up here. This part down here is the lower part of the base. Just somewhere to store stuff and everything. This is the main hangar. So, why don't we uh, get some of these access points open. So we have a full roof there. This side is our landing bay. That's where we come in for a landing. It's all lit up. Looks pretty cool. And over here, this is our takeoff area. This is where you would go out to take off. So you have arrows so you know which way to go. So yep, you actually take off that direction. And you land and you come in. And then on each side here we have garage doors. So you can work on your gyro chopper. Alright, so in here we have one that's, this is our, uh, where we replace the tires. I know they look small, but they're actually pretty big. So we have a tire changing machine here. We have other tires over there ready to go. We have some storage. <clears throat> and then over here, I have one that I'm working on down here. So I want to work on the propeller. So, I put it down there. We're going to change some tires and, you know, fix the rotor and change the belts and stuff like that and, uh, and the cockpit there. So, yeah, we need all kinds of tools and supplies for that. So, we have that. And we can go down here, like I said, to actually work on it. Take it around here with the engine. A little tight, but, you know... Don't want to take up too much space. So that's these two garages here. We do that. So if you need tires, you come over here. If you need your propeller worked on, you come over to this one. And then over here, this is where I store mine. I can put it up here. And there's a lot of storage cabinets in this one. Where we have stuff stored. And then this one over here. Again, this is basically a storage one where we can store it. We store some liquids and stuff. If you need a drink, glug, glug, glug. That's empty. It's the apocalypse, man. What do you expect? Oh, I forgot about these. Right, let me close this real quick. Oh. Yeah, these are not sponsors, or nor um, I'm just. These are some channels that I really enjoy, and I think that if you're watching this video for the first time, you may enjoy as well. May you may you may want to check out SMA Auto on YouTube. Uh, he does auto repair, but pretty funny dude. And you have Twitch.tv slash Grumble. I've been watching him for a few years, playing various games, Seven Days to Die, a lot of hours in Seven Days to Die. Pretty funny guy. And we also have uh, twitch.tv slash pbmac36, another really uh, dedicated 7 Days Die player, streamer. Um, he's pretty funny as well. I enjoy him a lot. And then we have one here that's for rent. If you want to rent that, I can put your name up here in the next video or something. Just put it in the comments down below. I'll see what I can do. So yeah, uh, we take off here. Or land here, I'm sorry. Come in for a landing. And again, this is all lit up at night. I use the passing gas signs to help light up the sides. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I went into creative mode and brought some stuff in, but so what? It's fun. 
brought the flags in to help it, you know, you can see which way the wind is going and, you know, adjust your trajectory and don't hit them. And then we have the, um, what is this called? <laughs> right? uh, I don't know, the airport tower? Whatever it's called, control tower? I think it's called. I don't know. You just see them at the airports. This is also how I get down from up here to get down. Um, <clears throat> then I have over here, oh, I suppose I shouldn't do that. Uh, we have a shotgun turret facing north, south, east, west, run off of a uh, solar battery right there to that. So gives me good coverage there. I also have on each end over there and over here, you can see there's a turret with the same setup as is over there. And on the other corner of the building, on the other side, they're set up there as well. So we'll go up here to the control tower. Do this real quick. Come on, come on, get up there. Again, it's all just lit up with candles. Candles seem to work the best. There, so we have the control tower. You can see what's going on. Lights are coming in or whatever, or manage that, I guess. Uh, I guess you need one, so we can come out here. You can see the top of the the base right there. With it open, there's a good view of the takeoff. Looks really cool at night, <clears throat> so I might come back here and show some night. So I cleared all this out, which trees or anything else, because I, I even hit the hotel, that building over there, I even hit that. Yeah, don't, don't judge me. Then, uh, same thing over this way, you got to really climb quick or you're going to hit that building about seven or eight times. All right, so then we'll go down. I just really enjoyed building in, in Seven Days to Die and obviously playing it as well, but it's been fun uh, building stuff, so. There's some more Zambies coming in. Let's go see if we can see. And I have, again, a turret up here facing, is it south? Yep. And another one facing west to cover this corner. And here's the takeoff platform from down below. I took over this passing gas and just made it mine. It's mine, all mine. And created this side. Try to match that side. You know, same size dimensions and everything. <coughs> And then we have two more turrets on this side. I may was thinking about putting possibly even two more turrets on this corner as well. Just to give it, you know, 360 coverage. So, not sure what I'm going to do down here yet. Clean that up or whatever. Yeah, it's mostly done. <clears throat> the turrets <clears throat> and I put landing lights here in the front so you can see the edge of the building because I clipped that a couple of times too well once or twice all right so there you have it I'm gonna go ahead and start closing these these garage doors can only be brought in uh, through creative mode you know you have to enable creative mode and I usually charge, charge myself maybe 200 wood per door if I were to bring them in and play um, legit, so to speak. But I like doing that. I'll, I'll go into creative mode and bring stuff in and, you know, like the flags and stuff like that. The White River flags and bring them in. I charge myself, I don't know, a bunch of steel or, you know, they should be kind of expensive. So this is what it looks like all closed up. 
So there we have it. If you want to take off, I just, I make sure all three are open, you know, so. All right, so there we have it. I'm going to go get back to business. So I want to thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button. Please leave any comments down below. And again, until next time, I will see you when I see you.